There's Pilate, representative of emperors, kings, dictators, and demagogues. There's the priests and the elders, religious rulers claiming the power of God as backing for their own. The crowd, democratic, at least in the sense of majority rule and lacking the wisdom often attributed to it. And the soldiers, armies, generals, military juntas. In other words, here in this story lies every power upon which human society has been and is today organized and run. All human history, our worst but also our best efforts at ruling ourselves, past and present, take their shot at Jesus, the King of glory. And he just turns the other cheek. Each of the powers in the story, in their own way, exercise the power of death. Pilate has the ultimate authority of sentencing in his hands as judge. The priests and elders prosecute the case. The people choose Barabbas over Jesus and then demand Jesus' crucifixion. And the soldiers do the actual killing. Every one of these powers manufactures death. This is because the limit of our own human power is to manufacture death. Only Jesus can make life. But we are still stuck exercising the various powers that manufacture death. And there's precious little to suggest that we are much better at it than Pilate and the priests and the people and the soldiers. The cross should make us uneasy. And apart from next week, from Easter, the cross should also make us very sad. But we don't have to face it apart from next week. Whatever deaths you are facing, of dreams, of hopes, of relationships, or even the death of your own body, Remember that the power of death belongs to this world, the world Jesus so fully rejected. Making people dead is the limit of our power. In all sorts of ways, little and big, though usually indirect, we exercise that power of death. The power of life, however, is beyond our grasp. It belongs to God. Death is not the final word which means we don't get to have the final say. God has something more to say on the matter. Thank goodness.